Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add credits into Final Cut Pro. You know, every project is a team effort, even if it's just me, myself, and I. Now I'm gonna share with you how to create credits using the built-in tools in Final Cut Pro, and then we're gonna look at fine-tuning those credits to give them a cool effect, and then finally, we're gonna throw on some uh, transform tools in order to make those credits pop even more. Let's go check that out. All right, we are here in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna take a look at scrolling credits. All right, we're gonna open up the browser, and then we'll go over to the title browser, and then we'll find the credits folder. And right in here, we'll see scrolling. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that to our timeline. We'll just put it on top of our background here. Let's just see what we got. All right, so we got kind of fast moving titles. It's not exactly easy to see in certain parts of this image. So with any baked in title or generator, there's gonna be a lot of adjustments you'll wanna make to fit your project. So up here in the corner, we'll go back to this spot where we can show or hide the browser. We're gonna hide that. And then we're gonna go to the inspector and open that. And what we've got here, we've got title control, uh, text input, video, some other uh, inspector windows. So for this particular title, you'll notice that it's, it's formatted in a particular way. So the way this is formatted is we've got the title here. So we could adjust that and just say Marshall. And we could replace all of these with different names and job titles. So that gives you an idea of how painful this process can be of entering all the credits into this text box. So there's a better way to do it. So I went on to IMDB, found the uh, actors for a particular movie that is awesome, and I just went ahead and formatted them like this. Uh, but what we wanna do even more than that, let's send that away and bring in a numbers sheet. So uh, an Excel spreadsheet, basically. So what this does is this column right here, it'll create an automatic tab which is what is created here in this text box. So there's a tab here and there's a tab in between these. So this title is centered, the name and description, all of those are left justified. So let's go ahead and copy these in and we'll highlight just the name and descriptions here. We'll avoid the title. All right, that looks pretty good, but there's a, a few things we wanna do to adjust this first. Then what we want to do is, is you'll notice that there's a little bit of an extra space here. And instead, what we'll do is highlight this and just do one tab. And now that we've adjusted all those tab markers, uh, we now have a properly formatted credits. Now we may notice that, okay, it's, it's still moving a little quick. So what we want to do to adjust that is just drag out this clip. So as slow or as fast as we want it, we can drag it smaller or bigger. So we can play that back and see. So that's looking pretty good. So we're seeing that while there is a nice uh, drop shadow, it's still not standing out from the background as much as we'd like it to be. So what we can do with that is we can adjust this background. So we'll, so we'll adjust the footage to match the title. Let's go ahead and shift Z to show the full picture here. So we're gonna change the opacity and just make it, make the background image dim a little bit. So all we gotta do for that is just take the opacity meter here, drag that down. That looks pretty good, right around 40%. And we can see that our text, even on the white parts of the image, is uh, standing out. Let's say you don't want it to be just suddenly a darker image, but you wanna progress into these titles. So we're gonna reset the opacity. Then we're gonna enter a keyframe. And we'll go ahead a little bit to right when the right when the text starts to enter the frame. And then we'll drag this over right to where the text starts to enter and we'll hit another keyframe. And then at this point, we're gonna bring this down to 40. And then we'll go to the very end where the last text leaves the screen. We'll enter another keyframe. And then we'll go to the final frame, go back one, hit the keyframe, and bring that down to zero. So now what that's gonna do, if we go to the beginning of the clip. So I wanna adjust that fade just a little bit. Let's go ahead and right click and go to the 
show video animation. So we're gonna bring up the video animation. You can see our keyframes here under the compositing opacity. Let's go ahead and click this button, this little arrow in the box. And we right there, we see our keyframes. That makes just a nice steady decrease in opacity. If we right click on that, we actually get some options to create more of an ease for that transition. So let's watch it now. Very nice. So we have a more of a subtle transition into the, the credits. And let's go to the end. Yeah, let's drag this back a little bit. Ease it in. Very nice. Kudos to our team at Stupid Raisins. We're releasing content like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release a new video. So let's say we don't want our credits to begin at the very bottom of the screen, but we want them to fade part of the way up. All right, so we'll click on the effects browser, which is this button right over here to the side. Scroll down to the masks. We're gonna bring in a shape mask and drop it right over the title. So now you can see already that title appear and disappear in certain parts of the frame. And that's all controlled by these red circular square TV image looking things. So I wanna make a few adjustments to this to improve it. So we're gonna drag this white control point. And what that does is that changes the curvature so we're actually gonna make that square, or rectangle, more rectangular. And then we're gonna drag these out just so that the side of the text doesn't start to feather off and fade. We're gonna put it right about there. And then this is the feather point. So this is right where the, the masking begins. And then at the edge where we want it to feather out, you'll see down at the bottom how it slowly fades everything in. So to adjust that mask, we're gonna go up to the video inspector. And in here, we're gonna see something called fall off. And what we're gonna do is change that to 100, gives us a, a kind of a different feel. We can adjust that as needed. All right, so now let's play that back to see what effect we've made here. All right, so we see the background fades and allows the text to stand out. And then we also have the text disappearing before it hits the top and bottom of the screen. All right, so we're gonna mix this up a little bit and change the style of credits to more of a heist movie. I'm just gonna change this to Indiana's 11. Again, heist movie, Indiana Jones. Kind of an odd mashup, but let's roll with it. Uh, we are going to change the rotation. So we're gonna go down here to the rotation and we'll find the X and Y axis. Bring this down to about 15 degrees. And then the Y axis, we'll also do something like that. And let's play this back and see. Okay, it's got kind of a different style, gives it more dimension. You'll notice that it is cutting off at the top, so let's go ahead and scale this up. All right, let's watch that again, just make sure that we're, that it's looking right. Yep. So now what we wanna do is right where the credits go partially up the screen is we are going to press the Option key, drag up another title, drop it right here, and you see we have another title that's following. Let's drag that over a little bit. But what we're gonna do is we're not gonna follow in the same direction. So one way to create like a, a really long credit list is to create the very, very long text box that just goes and goes and goes. That can cause a lot of problems for you trying to edit things, trying to change things up for yourself. Um, but once you get a good design, you can put these into groups. And then you've got, say for this next one, we type in, instead of the actors, you know, we're looking at maybe the producers. And then for another one, we're copying this, dropping it here, and this is audio production. All right, so we got this rolling through, and then the producers comes right after it, and then you scroll ahead a little bit, and you'll see the audio production. But let's change this up even more. We're gonna go to this, we're gonna go to the producer section, and we're gonna change up the rotation we're gonna go from this angle to that angle. And let's watch what happens. So as this one comes up, it's at a slightly different angle. It's got a different feel to it. You can almost have some um, geometric shapes behind here doing some fun stuff. And you just kind of alternate back and forth. And you can kind of alternate back and forth, have a different feel for each uh, section of your credits. And it's all in Final Cut Pro. 
So one thing you can do is you can highlight this text, find something that's a little more the style that we're currently running. All right, so I found one called Permanent Marker, and it looks like that's got a fun look to it, sort of hand-drawn. And then if you throw in a really great music track, you're rocking and rolling. So we've taken a look at how to make scrolling credits more interesting. We've tried a few things. We've remixed and rotated and transformed things a bit. So you take that, run with it, make it your own. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Credit to where credit is due. You've made it all the way to the outro. Now that you've learned how to add credits in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to do the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.